Hi guys, T-Belly here. I've just been given the uh, new map, Culbra Park Farm, by Bullet Bull 83 uh, and I just can't wait to get on it. Uh, basically, he's had some modifications to it, I'll just show you really quickly. If you have a look to the north, you've got Yatton Ridge Farm, that's the blue circle at the top. Uh, that's where your cattle and your pigs are kept. I'll take you all around the map uh, to the key locations. Uh, to the right at the top, you've got Biogas Power, so you've got buy a gas plant up there and you've got a lumber mill up there so you can sell your timber I'll take you there uh, Chantry Farm to the left red circle that's the same and Cobra Farm in the centre of the green circle that's pretty much the same there is changes to it me saying it's the same there is changes to it you know uh, and the village Wednesday stores there's changes down there but I'm going to take you all through it all anyway uh, some key things you'll, you'll know as well is there'll be some mods you need to get uh, there's the animation map trigger mod uh, that's for opening and closing gates uh, there's chop straw mod for giving a chop straw texture uh, gully mist mod that uses lime uh, for the texture as well and the fertilizers and slurries and stuff uh, VGPDA so if you press I you've got that one like 2013 which is awesome so you can still work and do stuff while you've still got your map on and you can just flip through them with your square bracket which is great and then uh, you've got VGPDA swine mast and I think that's to do with the uh, the pigs and the uh, B section so that'll be that bit on the end uh, you'll also need to get the OBE livestock trailer that's to carry the pigs and uh, the beef down to the selling point which I'll show you anyway uh, you'll need a, the water milk trailer that's for transporting more and milk and you'll need a stop milk sale and I'll show you that now we'll just take an eye off so we've got purchase and basically all this is is a placeable item and you, you just put it down anywhere you want I'd put it out of the way down here look somewhere all it is is it's just a market all it does is it stops there you go it stops milk being sold basically on mid at midnight uh, so it'll just keep on going up and then you can transport it yourself uh, I'll take you around and I'll show you everything that I know about it I've probably forgotten some bits so don't flame me and say you didn't tell me about that I'll try and tell you everything that I know so you've got your fertilizers your lime you can fill that up with a, a normal fertilizer tank so you can just put that underneath there drive underneath it same thing you've got some water point there look warning not drinking water awesome <laughs> love the touch of these days right so let's go let's just have a little drive around and show you some of the differences so now you've got as you went before you used to have to drive around you have to drive into here and then unload into there which was a bit of a pain especially if you use course play but no he's, he's, he's thought of that and he knows people use course play so now you've got a uh, an unloading station here where you can just drive through and unload and it does unload into the bays at the back you know what I mean so that's good and you've got like a loading part here so you can load up as well it's from silos ever so good very clever very clever like that feature like it a lot so yeah they're the things that you've got fuel tank there but look I'll just show you this one this is good remember when you used to drive up to it and it used to open didn't there They'd be like, oh yeah, that's good. No, it doesn't work anymore. What you have to do now. You have to get off your bum. Press O. <laughs> it opens the gate. How cool is that? Because if you try and do it without doing it, just close the gate again. Oh, look. You can just stand anywhere in front of this anyway, so it's best to just like, stand out of the way a little bit. So if you go like that, if you think, ah, oh, can't bother with that, I'm just going to drive through. I think not. <laughs> I like it. It's good. Anyway, so yeah, in and out of there. Another good cool feature is, uh, that he's added. You'll like this one as well. Some of you won't, but I think it's great. And this is, oh, let's take a shortcut through a field. I think not. <laughs> I think not. What? That's right. It acts like a good edge look. Look at that look. You can't drive through it. It's not going to let you. No shortcuts today. No more shortcuts. So that's that on that one, and I'll just drive down to 
Chantry Farm and I'll show you a couple of things down there. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to drive down there because we'll try and fly through this as quickly as possible. So I'm just going to tab. Where are we now? Oh, oh, there you go. So we're down to Chantry Farm. So as you can see, you've now got two big uh, storage base for your grass so you can make some silage. You can get there you go, look. It's awesome. Boom. Hey, hey, hey. And you can just drive through there with your mixers and just load it in. There you go. Sheep and that's still the same. Just the little features and stuff. There you go, that's silage. This is your milk, look. This is where you fill your milk up. You've also got, look, this gate opens. How cool is that? So you can just like scoop up your manure, you know what I mean, and uh, load it in the back of your, your uh, mixer, and off you go, bish bash bosh, rinky dinky do. Like I say, all oh, good, liking it. How cool is that? That's awesome. Look. I like it. I like the collision detection on it. Nice little features. Look, car grid and stuff. Awesome. Nice one. I'll just sit down. Just enjoy the day. Nope, can't be doing that. Right then, so let me have a quick... Let me jump down to... Right, this is the shop. As you can see, the shop has changed. And I like this. So there you go. Shop like you would see it in England. This is how you see them. You have tractors on a forecourt. Machinery. You can try and pick these up. But for love nor money, you won't get them for free, guys. Trust me, I've tried. So there's your selling point, anyway. There's your working. Look at that, New Holland. Oh, like it. Anybody for a drink? Oh, oh, no, Dr Pepper. No, 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 no. Right, no worries. Right then, so I'll have a quick drive around in here and I will just show you some stuff. So, when you've got your cattle and you've got them all fattened up and stuff, you'll sell them here, basically. Right, what I'm going to do is, right quick, because I'm going to need to use it anyway, I'm going to get all my loan, I'm going to borrow everything, because I'm going to buy some stuff to show you some stuff. Right, uh, so, basically, you would drive down and sell your cattle here, and you would sell your sheep here. I mean, your pigs here. There you go, pig shed. Right, uh, what Bill's told me is, uh, because it's a bit complicated, it's best if you buy at least 10 cows and 10 pigs. Uh, purely and simply because if you don't, you'll you'll see pigs down here, but you won't see them back at your at Yatton Ridge. Uh, so he says, for the sake of it, just buy ten. He says, most people should buy ten. And he says, yeah, unlike me, where well, I just buy one at a time. So uh, he did laugh at that anyway. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to buy some uh, cattle. So we go beef. I'll buy ten of these. Oh. Buy, buy, buy. It might be worth getting the multiple buy uh, mod as well, but that's totally down to you. But I'll put all the mods and everything under this video linked in. So, so we've got ten beef, and we'll buy ten pigs as well. There you go. Look, little babies. Look. It's just for graphical purposes, you know. And he says he found it dead hard to find the, uh, the models, so it's done really good. I like it, mate. How cool do they look? Right, so this is the way you'd sell them. When you've uh, found them all up and you've got them ready for market, you would bring them down here once you've got your trailer and stuff, which is what you would need your modded uh, livestock trailer for. The OBE one. So that's that. I'm trying to be as quick as possible without boring you to death and... Just trying to take you out to all the cool places. Right then, so. One thing it does suggest you do as well is, and I'll do it now, if we press escape, and if you go onto plant growth, uh, withering, switch the withering off, and just uh, go there, because everything's ready to harvest, I think. Is it? I could be wrong on this one. 
have a look. Let's have a quick look. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure he says turn your withering off, especially on the first one, otherwise it'll all start dying on you. So yeah, as you can see, Wednesday stores is similar, but it has changed. So now what you do is you can unload all your cereals and your roots into here, which is cool. So you can another one selling point there. You've got your milk selling point here. Look, you can reverse in there and sell it. And this is your selling point for your for your wool pallets, I think. Yep, yeah, wool sell point there, look. You get some more lime scale there you can fill up. Another what? I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do it now. Because he showed me, and it's, it's a nice one. So I'll just drive back to uh, to uh, the shop and I'll just buy a little what? So you can see. Right, oh, there's my course play, look. Oh, I'll have that one going. I will be doing a uh, Let's Play series, multiplayer and single player as well on this, just to let you know. Can't wait, cannot wait. Right, so we've got the mods, and it's not slurry, it's miscellaneous. Right, so we'll get that one. Okay, back, back. Like you do, you just come down. I'm gonna refill. Watch this. Look at the pipe. How cool is that? How cool is that? Some effort's gone into that. I like that. That's nice. Just like the nice little touch that. Look at that pipe still there, look, you can't drive off, look. Still filling up. There you go, look. How good's that? How good is that? Anyway, so I'll, I'll just drop that there and uh, I'll just take you to show you somewhere else. Cause I didn't even notice this until they pointed it out to me. It's, it's just hidden around this corner. What is this? There you go, look. Oh, crashed. My driving again. He's good. There you go, look. And this is where you sell your wood chips, look. Drop them off in there. Bish bash bosh, rinky dinky do. So you've got a place to sell your wood chips. And we all know how everybody likes to get wood chips because they're so easy to get. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the place where you sell them anyway. Right then, so off we go now. And take a little drive. But yeah, look, all the fields are ready to, not all of them, but most of them are ready to harvest. So if you just turn the withering off, at least you'll get a full load in. Uh, I thought it was a really good idea. I never even thought to switch it off, to be honest with you, until I, I read the comments. But uh, yeah, it's handy to do. But if you want to be realistic, by all means, you switch it off. That's entirely your choice. But I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna switch mine off just for the time being. So yeah, I really can't wait to play this. Dead looking forward to it. It's just so good. I mean, look at the the signs. It just looks so realistic. It's even updated the signs look and everything. Looks all good. I'll just show you something in a second. I've just drove past one. There you go, look at that. How <laughs> cool does it look? Right, look, I'll just show you this as well. I'll give you some more technical info. This is really good. Right, oh, there we go, look. Now, fields, if you're going to purchase one, look. They're on there, look. 65,900. It works out, this is a technical bit, at 0 0.01 per hectare. If you work it out. 
there you go that's about as much as I know and he pointed that out to me so I thought I'd share that with you guys so there we go I mean that's an expensive field and that's about as expensive as they get and that'll be a big field you get a lot of those that are a lot smaller a lot more you know what I mean it's, it's, it's priced them really well so it's not like breaking the bank for you to get going and stuff but uh, yeah lovely loving it right so just down here this is where your, uh, you can store your chippings and store some of your forest machinery. I'll just show you. But don't look good. I mean, look, just look at the scenery. I love it. I love it. It just got better and better. So there you go. There you go for your wood wood chips. Look, you store them in there. And round here, you've got another shed for storing your machines, and you've got a refueling point here, which is cool. A bit of storage part here. Cool. Loving it. Like the rubble. I've always got rubble. I've always rubble somewhere. Right then, so let's take a drive down. Oh, we're back on the right side of the road. I don't want any accidents. So I'll take you down to Yatton, Yatton Ridge Farm now. This is where all the the beef and the pigs are kept. And this is the part that kind of like tricked me. Well, a lot of it I didn't know about anyway. Uh, but this part there's a lot of stuff in it really. I haven't even been to the biogas place, place near have I? Which is good. And there's, a, there's a really nice feature that he's added to that one. I can't wait to tell you. Oop, nearly. You're all right. Don't panic. Drive straight. No, he's not going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. No way. No way. Well, crazy driver. There we go. Sharp corner. He's told me in real life it's a lot sharper than that. And I believe him. But yeah, Bill was showing me all around, I mean, real good, good uh, explanations of how and what things are, and you know what I mean. Really good time. I really appreciate the time that it took to uh, show me all the stuff as well. So, it's helped me share it with you guys. That's the woodcutting place as before. Farm up to there, look, Cobra Farm. Oh, yeah, take you to the oh, good chip place, look. Right, so this is the same as before, as you would normally, just on a small, smaller scale. Let's right, say so you can, this is a selling point for all your cereals as well, which is handy to have if you're up this end, you don't have to go down to the village. But yep, you can sell in there, look, as normal. Right then, and this is really cool, look, because he's put a little wood yard here, look. And this selling point, this is really good, this selling point, because he's told me you don't need to unload the trailers. It'll empty what's inside the trailer just by driving onto it, which will be awesome. Uh, I'm still probably going to load mine in the, my Flegel <laughs> trailers because I just like them. Uh, but that's great. I mean, that's awesome because it can be such a faff just trying to uh, get them out of the trailer sometimes. So I did point out to him, I said, it's a bit narrow to be getting in there with a, a shovel to get them out. And he went, oh, you don't need to do it that way. You just drive over it. So that's awesome. I haven't tested it yet, but I will be testing it. Right then, so that's that, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump straight over, where are we, on the map, I'm just going to jump straight up to Yatton Ridge, oh, let's have a look, tab, 
tab, tab, there we go, right, so we're at Yarn Ridge now, so this is up there at the top, look, you can see flashing there in the blue circle, right, so this is where you drop off your roots, your potatoes, and your, uh, and your, I always, what is it called, I keep on forgetting it, oh, Shift I, by the way, if you want to go back to your normal overview. Sugar beets, yeah. I always forget the sugar beets. I keep on thinking sweet something, I don't know why. Sweet potatoes, I'm thinking. Anyway, so this is where your pigs are kept. As you can see, because we bought more than 10, if we hadn't bought them, you wouldn't have seen a couple in here and you'd have thought, well, where are my pigs? It's just a graphical representation anyway, guys. It doesn't really make any difference whatsoever, you know what I mean? So, right, so there's your pig one. And there's your cattle one for your beef. Right, what you would do then is once they're ready, you would just go in here, and this would be your loading point. So you just drive in here, and you'd be able to load up from here. And it's the same for your cattle one on this side. Bing bash bosh, there you go. And there you go, you can feed your chickens, water. Got an egg. <laughs> the first egg. Wee. Right, so there you go. Uh, let's just have a quick look around here because you did panic thinking that you'd missed out a silage point, but there is two. This one's just hidden around here. There you go. That's one silage. I'll just show you the other one. There you go, you've got fuel as well. As the norm. Liking it. He <laughs> like it. I think it's awesome. And you've got another one just round here, look. That's your water fill level, that's your silage, look. And the good thing is, when you fill it up with water, it does actually fill up. And you can see the gauge go up, which is cool. Which is really cool. And there you go, you've got two bays there. Your silage. And there you have it guys, I think I have covered most aspects, apart from one, I'm just going to show you one, because it did, it did take the time to show me, uh, and I feel I should show you as well. Let me have a look, uh, yeah by the way, this, this is your car, <laughs> you've got one of these as well. So we'll just drive down, apologise for my crazy driving. This as well. Just so you know, this is a small uh, selling selling point for your hay bales. So you can sell your hay in there. And as before, on the uh, in the Chantry Farm, the hay that's in the corner there, you can that's a selling point as well. Where I did mine, if you, I don't know if you saw me on my Let's Play, <laughs> where I just dropped it off and it sold it all. Uh, yeah, that's a selling point for your hay. But hey, <laughs> how do you know? So yeah, I'll just take you to drive round. Windy roads. If you're not from England and you haven't seen these country windy roads, they're about... That's true, they're probably worse than what these are, really. People drive round them like maniacs, because they think nobody else is on them. And that's what happens. <laughs> you're in a ditch. That's probably a true representation as well. Right, let me just have a... I'll just show you the point in here anyway, in case you didn't know. You probably did, but I'll show you. And then I'm going to head back down and show you something else, and then we'll wrap it up and you guys can play to your heart's content. I just like this. I just love it. Yep, sorry I missed it earlier. I'm trying to remember everything. I know I'm getting old. Yep. Don't use these hay bales because they're, they're just for aesthetic looks. If you unload your hay bales here, they will sell. That's a selling point. Uh, I just thought it was a really nice looking place and to put some hay and 
obviously it's not. So if you're going to store them, do not store them here like I did, because you just get some money. So there you go, that's that one. And I'm just going to show you now the other nice little one that he uh, he says if you wanted to get another mod. Uh, it's a handy little field for. So I mean, he's he's put a lot of thought and effort into this. So you know, what I mean, he's I take me out to the guy. It's stunning, and I, look, I like the fact the fact that you can't just drive through the bushes as well. I mean, they've got a little bit of leeway, but uh, it's all it's all good. Add more realism, you know what I mean? Which is what he was after, and he's put new textures down as well, which is really good. It might look like it's a bit jerky on mine, but it's only because I've got about 500 things running in the background on my computer at the moment. And I've got it maxed out. And it does recommend you having a decent PC if you can have it maxed out for the draw distance. Right, I think it is. Let me have a look. I think it's down here. He says there's, uh, I think it's apple tree mod or something like that, and he says he's made this field specifically for it if, if anybody wanted to uh, utilise it. And there you go. So you could have your like your, your apple trees down here, in nice rows. He's a thoughtful guy, isn't he? <laughs> I like it. I mean, I look like the fields look. I mean, it's like you'll go through like one field. This is what it's like in England. You'll go through one field to get to another field to get to another field. You know what I mean? It's not all, they're not all just on the main road. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that because he, he made a point and point that out to me. So there you go, guys. If you didn't know, and you like the, uh, I think it's apple tree mod. I probably got that totally wrong. Uh, if I have, by all means, correct me below. Uh, and that's it, guys. That is pretty much everything. I think I've covered most of the stuff. If there's anything I've missed, I apologise sincerely. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions or anything, by all means, leave them below. I'm going to leave all the mods listed below and the location. And a uh, mega big thanks to Bullet Bill 83 because he's awesome. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll get more multiplayer again, and uh, I think he's getting a mic, guys. I think he's getting a mic. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you later, guys.